Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. And we are back with Carissa Byrne Arbera. Excited to have her here. She's the owner of her own company and interior designer at CBH Interiors from Jersey City, New Jersey. But she's working with people all over. So that's cbhinteriors.com. And once again, we want to welcome Carissa Byrne Bear back to the show. How are you today? I'm doing great. I'm, thank you for having me, Jill. Well, thanks How are for you being doing? here. I'm excited to have you here, except for some glitches, but we are excited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I love the work you do. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And I know we're going to talk today, obviously, about all the work you could do. But I feel like, um, you know, your full service interior design company, it's always good to start by getting to know the person first. So let me have you first introduce your company, tell us a little bit about it, and then we'll get into you to start before we go into more specifics about the work you're doing. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so CBH Interiors is my company. We are a full service interior design firm. Uh, we specialize in home renovations. Our clients are busy professionals in the Hudson County and um, New York City area. Awesome. And you've been doing this for how long? <laughs> I've been doing this for over 14 years now, but I started my business in 2020. So I'm still new to the business world, but I've been doing interiors for over 14 years, which is wild to think about. Well, what inspired you to come down this path? Where did you grow up? Did you grow up in New Jersey? No, actually, I did not. Uh, my parents are both from New Jersey, but I, I kind of grew up all over the place. I moved around a lot as a kid. I was born in Detroit, Michigan. I lived in Rochester. I lived in Kalamazoo, Michigan, um, then Tennessee. But so I so. I was, say was, that was I, dad or mom in the military? Just curious. <laughs> no, um, my mom just really liked to move. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> so you got to yeah. see a lot of places. I did. Yeah. Um, and then ended up back up here for college. And um, and I always wanted to live, you know, in, in the New York City area. So I love it here. This is right. home now. <laughs> so how did you get into interior design? Where did this passion come from? Um, actually, very... Uh, lucky because I realized when I was a kid that I wanted to do um, design. Um, actually, when I was in Girl Scouts, when I was probably like eight or nine years old, I um, we went on a tour of an architecture um, office and I just was blown away. I was like, oh, people do this? This is what I want to do. And so I said I wanted to be an architect um, for so long. And then when I actually started college, I realized that architecture wasn't quite for me. It was a little bit too um, conceptual. I was more into the interior space and the more in the details of interior. So I switched to interior design and, um, and haven't looked back since. And here you are. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, beautiful. Thank you. And uh, we're on the website. I hope you guys could join us as well. To take a look at some of the work, uh, cbhinteriors.com. And uh, I know today you want to talk about the full service design, uh, interior design services that you offer. So how does it work? You know, it's, you do, you're doing renovations, full homes, but do you also do kitchens, bathrooms, or give us your specialties? Yeah. I mean, I actually, I can do any space. Um, my specialty is actually, you know, maximizing small spaces, uh, Especially because, you know, in, in New this York city area. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, people in this area, they, um, you know, we live in tight spaces and we need to kind of maximize, you know, where we live, you know, the, you know, your, the guest room or the bedroom mm -hmm. may also be in home office. Um, your living room may also be the gym, you know, especially in this day and age where a lot of us are actually you know, working from home full time or part time, um, we have to have be very flexible. So that's something I specialize in. But I, um, but home renovations is, you know, is what I love to do. Um, love to just, you know, transform a space um, and make it, you know, work functionally and also be beautiful for clients. Awesome. I see behind you, you got some painting, uh, you got some dark, dark wall, light wall. What are some of the, yeah. the current styles? I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my computer. I just went off. Uh, but oh, you're tell back. Me, what's, what are some of the things that are trending right now in interior design? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. There's, I mean, just kind of speaking up what I was just saying, you know, multifunctionality is mm -hmm. a big trend right now. Um, you know, we're seeing a lot. Um, well, 
Sorry. With COVID, I feel like oh, yeah. everyone, like, I mean, let me, everyone realized, well, we can work at home. We got to make home offices. But mm-hmm. I, I think a lot of people from my friends tell me it, they all spend time in the kitchen and realized, wow, we need a bigger kitchen. What? Well, yeah. Everyone's hub is here. We, and I have a six and eight year old. I don't even use my dining room. My dining room is a toy area. So I feel like, is the dining room like going goodbye and we're making kitchens <laughs> bigger? What are you noticing with the trends? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good question because. Um, it just, it's the dining room is kind of an interesting space. It's, you don't see it as much in, in the urban areas, right? Like we, mm-hmm. uh, we kind of want to utilize every space, every like inch of our home. So the dining room that isn't, that's only used once or twice a year is just not, you know, practical. Um, but if you, but if you go further out into the suburbs or into the South, you know, you'll still see every home has a dining room, um, especially in the, in the South, but you know, in these, in the areas where real estate is expensive, you know, that is definitely something, I think the first thing to go is that dining room that doesn't get used very often, or, you know, you know, it gets turned into something else like a playroom and you're like, it is in your house. Exactly. Which is, yeah. oh gosh, I, it's, it is what it is for now. Um, you know, <laughs> and also, you know, let me take a look at some of your, your work. If you guys go to the website, you can also see, uh, do you have any social media pages as well? Are you on? Can we find you? Oh, Instagram, yeah. Instagram, Facebook. Yes, I'm on Instagram at CBH Interiors. Awesome. Um, and that's my, I mean, I'm also on Facebook, uh, but Instagram is, is I think, the best place to find me. Yeah. yeah Katie B says, uh, Carissa is an amazing designer with a keen eye for what her client wants. She takes the time to get to know her client's style and builds a plan to help them bring it to life. She's helped our uh, family build a home from the ground up and was able to give us clarity of what the project would look like when finished. I highly recommend her for her wealth of knowledge, appeal of style, and professionalism. Two things there. People come to you with what they want, right? So you have to be open to, or unless some people come to you and say, do whatever you want, but normally it's, <laughs> right, people want what they want. So you have to work around mm-hmm. that. And some people just want to make sure they're working with a designer who does respect that. Right. And you go, over oh, yeah. explain the process, how it works. And now we're doing 3d designs, renderings. How does it work? The initial uh, consultation, what's the information that's gathered? And then how does it, you know, what's the process like to work with you over the course of months or even years? I mean, if it depends how big the project is. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, the process, Every project is different. Um, I like to say, you know, every project is different, but the process is the same. Mm-hmm. It always starts with a um, a fifteen minute consult, which people can book those um, via my website, and that's always complimentary to kind of discuss the project. We talk about um, the timeline. We talk about the budget. We talk about um, you know the what the client needs, their mm-hmm. needs and their wants. Um, sometimes clients do have, you know, um, like Pinterest boards that they've developed or imagery that look and feel that they want for the space. So yeah. always ask them to share that. And then from there, you know, we go on to the, um, the initial visit where I actually come to the space and I, you know, if it's an existing space where we're renovating or remodeling, then I'll come to the space and we walk the space together, you know, we talk about some ideas and then I develop um, the scope of work and the, you know, the fees for the project. And then once that's, you know, um, once that's presented to the client and approved, then we kick off the project and then it all kind of just starts from there. So then there's a few different phases where there's, you know, um, research where I'm, you know, having meetings with a client, there's um, interviews, there's, you know, we share look and feel imagery, like I was saying. So that's kind of where that comes in. Different ideas with furniture, different artwork, different paint colors yeah, all that that comes that comes later because the, the, oh. you know there's first there's the research phase where we're just kind of like talking big picture and I kind of um, need to know what they want and what they need and we talk about all that stuff and then you know then the design presentations start to happen where I start to present actual pieces I you know I can cre- I create floor plans different layout options um Yes, sometimes there's 3D renderings. If it's a if it's a renovation, I do like to do 3D renderings just to give the client a really good idea, a clear vision of what the space is going to look like. And then, um, you know, and then from there, construction starts if there's any construction happening or renovation. And then following that is um, all the furniture installation. So yeah, it can take you know a small project can take you know three months to six months, larger projects six months to a year. Um, that's pretty typical. 
Wow. And I saw like on Instagram before the 14 foot ceiling high uh, in Jersey <laughs> City, you did like a nice like blue and wood uh, and like using that space, obviously when you have a high ceiling, but beautiful work. I pulled it up before. Thank Hold you. On, where'd it go? Yeah, it's on Instagram. <laughs> but uh, tell us, you know, you're working with spaces that are limited. So we are using vertical space, right? A lot of times, which is something people don't think yeah. about. Yeah. So that client came to me because, you know, they had these really, really tall ceilings. They had 14 foot ceilings and um, she had a very beautiful space. It was an industrial space, but she just wasn't utilizing the height. And so she needed help, you know, so we were able to create the, the wall that you're talking about, this um, built in yeah. wall with, you know, big um, countertop because she likes to bake um, and she likes to host. So the big countertop where the she can, you know, glasses. actually, it's like a bar. Area. Yeah. 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 And then up top, there's, you know, actual shelvings for uh, drinkware and some display for artwork. So we're able to fully utilize the the height of the space, which is a challenge for a lot of people. It is hard to do that. So I'm, that was a, it was a fun project to be able to help her out. Beautiful. And what else did you want to focus on for today? Since it is your first show, where did, you know, what else did you want to start off by letting your listeners know? Um, I wanted to also share, you know, I do have full service design, which we just talked about where I help, you know, the client from start to finish. Um, I have another service offering called designer for a day. That is something that is maybe more, um, geared towards, you know, someone who has, uh, maybe a, a space that functions well, but it, it just doesn't feel like it's tied together. So that's where, um, I'll come in, I'll come over for, you know, come to the space for a few hours. We'll walk the space together. We'll talk about ideas. I'll take some measurements and pictures and then come back to my office and, um, and send, um, links or, you know, suggestions for the space. So that's just, you know, it's a little bit, uh, less of a commitment, but it's good for maybe renters or yeah, like people who have a good eye, but they're just like, you know, they have all the furniture, but maybe they just need some help with one wall, um, you know, pulling together some accent pieces. And so that's, that's been a great, um, offering for, you know, different getting, you know, smaller spaces and yeah. different people in. Yeah. Well, also we're live on the zoom cast today. I wasn't sure if we were zoom or not today, but by the way, anytime we do a zoom, feel free to share your screen. If you uh, next time or today, if you have the stuff you want to share images and talk about things, feel free. We could always do that to actually show people like the, the 14 foot ceilings that I'm talking about. It's great to have oh, yeah. the visuals as well, if you don't mind. Um, just a suggestion, uh, cause it yeah. makes for like what we're really, you know, everyone who's listening, but also if you're watching, it's good to visualize and to see, um, you mentioned accent pieces, right? You mentioned, um, you know, furniture, mm -hmm. are you going down to the nitty gritty where like, we're talking fabric designs for furniture, you're, you're like you're helping customize fabrics for pillows and all that as well. Yes, definitely. So, <laughs> um, you know, it depends on the project, but, uh, you know, but if the, if it is a full service project, then yeah, we will get into the nitty gritty and, you know, custom, custom make the sofa, custom make chairs, pillows, ever, anything. Yeah. That is amazing. So to have all this wealth of knowledge and all these people uh, that you have to work with, I mean, you must have a great group of vendors that you do have a con context with, right? Yes. Yeah. I have a, um, you know, a list of, you know, people that I like to work with and that I recommend and trust and use for my projects. Awesome. I also saw you were doing someone's bookcase, book, book shelving, uh, organization, uh, color coded. That was beautiful yeah. too. <laughs> Thank you. What other projects yes. did you want to share with us? Um, there's, well, so the one I should talk about the one that I, that my, um, client Katie, the one that you read her yes. review. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, um, so for her, I worked on her whole home. So that's, yeah, um, said that was ground up her whole family. So I'm assuming she has kids or. Yeah. Yeah. She has two kids, um, two boys. And, um, so her and her husband and two boys, they, um, they actually live in Mississippi They're You know, she's a friend of mine mm -hmm. <laughs> that I was, um, that I knew from high school and um, we're still really good really good friends. Um, but she, you know, her and her husband, they bought land and they wanted to build a home and they, um, they hired a builder and they just, they didn't know where to start, you know? And so I was helping her, we were, you know, looking at different plans and we came up with actually, um, a new, des a new house plan for her. So we designed, you know, how it would work the, which for her, that was a really big kitchen, um, with a, you know, she has, I don't know if you're familiar with a Butler's pantry and a, 
Um, what is a butler's pantry? <laughs> I know what a pantry is. It butler <laughs> sounds fancy. So butler's pantry, it um, it's a little room that's off the kitchen that has um, it's more prep area. So bigger countertop, a sink, sometimes a dishwasher. You know, in her room uh-huh. she has um, that's where her coffee station is. So it's like a little extension of the kitchen that you can kind okay. of use to prep um, mm-hmm. for you know events, and then you can kind of close the door if it's dirty. Um, it's a really, so that is something that we are seeing a lot more in kitchens with people who do have the space, but, um, but so yeah, we designed the whole house. And so that was a unique situation. You know, I was saying that the the first step is I go to the space. So in that case, there's no space. Right. So we're just kind of looking at things together and coming up with a plan. And then, um, I worked with the builder to get the, you know, all the drawings finalized. And then we selected all the finishes together, all the lighting, um, all of the architectural details, you know, the stairs, the railings, the um, the ceiling details, everything, and then furniture as well, furniture, area rugs, window treatments, the bathrooms, everything in the bathroom. So that was a really, really fun project. Awesome. Wow. So you do work with people all over, right? Uh, it can be anywhere. <laughs> any doesn't even have to be person. You do have these virtual calls and Zooms, right? Yeah, it was, you know, that was actually during COVID. So um, it kind of worked out well that she was, you know, we were meeting virtually. I went down a few times to meet with her in person, but a lot of things can be done virtually. Now we've all learned that during, you know, the COVID age. Mm -hmm. Wow. Also bedrooms. And, uh, do you have a favorite room that you love doing interior design for? And as an interior designer, how do you not like switch up your own home all the time? I'd be like, (laughs) I love this. I love that. How do you handle that? That, that temptation of changing in new things for your, your, your own personal space. It is hard. So many beautiful (laughs) things that you probably want to do all the time. Yeah, it's true. Um, but you know, I do believe that like, um, you know, quality pieces and, um, classic things are really important because they less they do last the test of time. You know, I don't, you know, trends are important to know, but I also don't think that you should always design according to trends, right? You want to make sure that things are, and that's why, um, you know, clients, sh- I think should work with a designer, you know, because it helps for me to steer them away from something that's super trendy that they're going to regret in, you know, maybe three to five years. Um, you know, like, one of the things that you were, you know, we were asking about trends before that I'm seeing is, you know, those like the white kitchens that were really popular a few years ago. We're seeing a lot less of that, right? Mm. Um, <clears throat> those are starting to look outdated. You know, people are wanting more contrast. You're seeing like darker countertops and, you know, interesting tile. And so those things are, you know, you need to make sure that those, the pieces that you pick are going to be classic and not look outdated in a few years. Yeah. And is there anything that you find that what is like a trend? Like, tell me about floors. Are people now still doing all wood floors or vinyl floors? Because tiles are kind of like gone. No, I'm hearing from my friends like porcelain like, looks nice. But what is the trend when it comes to flooring in a home? Do people still put carpets or people? What, what are they doing? I mean, people are still doing wood. What is what is, you know, it's just a really durable, warm material that's easy to clean. Um you know, but tile, you'll st- you're still going to see tile in the bathrooms because wood is just hard is harder in the bathrooms. It's going to get wet, and you know, over time, it's just not going to last. So, um, I think those are just materials that aren't really going away. Um, vinyl, I'm not seeing as much. You know, there's there was a craze. You know, maybe like five five to ten years ago, everybody was putting vinyl in. I'm sure that people are still doing it. It's just not the um, that like. It's just not a material that's going to last you that long. I don't think as opposed to wood or tile. Yeah. And people are still doing carpet. You know, it just depends on preference. Um, but I always recommend, you know, wood with some area rugs instead of carpet. It's just a little bit more flexible. Um, and, you know, because the that wall-to-wall carpet, if something happens to it, then you have to rip it all up. And it's just, it's it's harder to maintain for sure. Yeah, interesting. And are people still putting carpets in their homes or is it less of it's more like they're doing the wood floors and then doing like accent carpets? Yeah, exactly. You're seeing more of that, more of the accent, accent rugs. Do you see my, Uh is that me going What's happening? I was on with an intuitive before and she was talking about energy healing and all this stuff. And all of a sudden it started happening. I'm like, whoa, this is weird. Yeah. 
I don't know why that's happening. I apologize. Um, yeah. Whoa, someone's before. visiting you or something. I don't know. Oh my gosh. All right. Okay. Forget about me. Well, what else did you want to share with everyone? I'll try to restart that. Go ahead. Uh, um, something else I guess that I like that I like people to know is that I also, um, I like, I do teach as well. I teach at uh, the New York school of interior design, which is where I went to school and it's, um, I teach residential design and that's a way that I like to kind of give back. I love, um, I just love being around students. I always have, I just feel like a good energy. Um, I like giving back to them and I, I just, I'm as much as I think I give to them, they give back to me, you know, twofold. I, I get, you know, I get energized by them. I get inspired by them. Um, just, so that's something that I like people to know. Yeah. Well, I love it. I mean, the work you're doing is beautiful. There's so many more testimonials on the website. Let's remind everyone how we can reach out to you, please, directly. Yeah, sure. Uh, my email is carissa, C-A-R-I-S-S-A, at cbhinteriors.com. You can also find me on Instagram at cbhinteriors. And my website is cbhinteriors.com. Awesome. Well, we still have four minutes left in the show. Uh, <laughs> what else do you want people to know about you and your interior design services and why, you know, what sets you apart and makes you unique? Uh, clearly you are. You have amazing style, amazing taste. What else did you want to share with everyone? Oh, thank you. That's very sweet of you to say. Um, I, you know, I just think that <laughs> I, you know, if people do need help with their home don't mm -hmm. hesitate to reach out you know and design is for everyone and you know like I said I have different service offerings and um I'd like to help you if, if you're you know if you need help with your home I'd love to chat with you and um and find something that can work for you you know and design is you know I an interior design is really important having a well-designed space is good for your mental health um so I think it's it's really yeah. important. Mm -hmm. Do you help people like with, um, you know, I guess uh, spatial aspects? It depends on where you're living. But what about like storage rooms, attics, garages? I mean, do you also do full depth? Could you do closets and cabinetry for those oh, yeah. areas too? Because organization is something you brought up. You know, it, to yeah. have a clean slate gives you a mental break. But when you have clutter in your home and uh, chaos, yeah. it does affect you mentally. Yeah. Yes, it really does. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I did, I've I done a lot of closets. <laughs> I've helped people organize, you know, um, but mostly, I think just decluttering, like you're saying, I think just kind of, I just try to advise my clients, you know, just to kind of get rid of the clutter, get rid of things that they don't use, you know, try to just really keep the things that, that they love and that, you know, bring them joy. Gosh, yeah, I know. I got a lot of work to do in my home, but it's your time. <laughs> and uh, you do work uh, anywhere, right? Uh, you're from Jersey City, but, uh, you know, I live out on Long Island. You're New York City based, but you can mm -hmm. also work for friends and clients anywhere around the country. Yes, yeah. What, do you, what do you love most about being an interior designer, would you say, Carissa? Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> but I think I like the people. I really love, you know, making connections and meeting people and, um, you know, getting to know my clients really well and then um, and making them happy, you know, once it's kind of like it's a puzzle, you know, helping them, you know, figure out what they ultimately want and need sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, and at the end, when they're happy and I get that amazing testimonial, um, it just it really just makes me extremely happy and grateful that I. Ooh, and you froze makes you happy and grateful. That's how well, there you are. Chris, makes you oh. happy and grateful, and then you froze. Go ahead. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It looks like we're losing you, sweetheart. Sorry, but uh, the the truth is, we're actually almost done. Uh, Carissa, um, what we'll do is obviously remind everyone to reach out to your website. Uh, Carissa, there she is, uh, Berna Bear. We're gonna um, we're gonna have <laughs> yeah. her. Perfect. There you go. Uh, one more time. What were you saying? Uh, I think we lost our. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just saying that. Are you here? Can you hear yeah, me? I hear you. Go ahead. Okay. I was just saying that I'm just very thankful that I get to do this every day and um, thankful for my clients and just being able to make people happy. Oh, 
Well, it's a pleasure having you here. Sorry for the connection issues. That's odd, but something's going on today in the air. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Uh, but uh, one more time, let's remind them of the website. Uh, you can go visit her there. Reach out. Any questions, you do offer initial free 15-minute consultation, as she said. Mm -hmm. It's CBH Interiors, cbhinteriors.com. Also, go to her Instagram or Facebook page as well. You can find her the same way. Thank you for being here and for joining us and looking forward to the next time we get to connect. Will it be, is it next week? Are we back on? Yep. Next week. Awesome. Same time. Awesome. Is it a zoom again? Uh, I think we're just um, audio next time. Perfect. Yeah. That's fine. We'll see you either way. Thank you again <laughs> for being here, for joining us and uh, have a fantastic day. Enjoy the beautiful weather right now. It is pretty gorgeous through our area, right? <laughs> yes. Let's take it Thank you so can. much. Thank you again. Have a great day to all of our listeners. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.